Um, many people have written about this space and there are many ideas about what um, inspired uh, the apps. This is one of the most quoted uh, San Clemente's apps in Rome. It's a 12th century uh, mosaic of the fount of life, the rivers of life coming forth from the, from the bottom of Christ's cross. And this is definitely seen as one of the main references for Pollen in making this apps. Um, he obviously didn't have enough money to make the mosaics. Um, he instead had to build this uh, wooden um, semi-dome and have it gilt and painted. And he himself is the one who finished all of this, um, all of the, that you see here. Another reference for the apps, though, that I would like to bring in is this Santa Polinari in um, a quite earlier, the sixth century mosaic. And here we have the Saint Apollinari in the center. What I really think is this large circle here um, very much um, is uh, Mary here seated, um, Our Lady Seat of Wisdom, Sede Sistiente, and the fact that um, we have this wonderful hand, which we also have up here, and the same sort of radiating glory that is um, present up here. And so uh, what I suppose I'm trying to uh, introduce to you is this idea that all of their experiences, everywhere they had traveled, all the buildings they had seen between them, they're really just picking and choosing all of their favorite parts and, and putting them together in kind of an assemblage of, of a basilica. And that's what we see taking place here as well. Um, another reference for the apps in particular um, is the Adoration of the Mystic Lamb in Ghent in Belgium, uh, specifically Mary in um, this painting. So Mary here, um, um, Pollen has said to have gone multiple times to see this piece and had become totally fascinated by it. Um, and he, um, one of the, the, the writers on this space says that he um, found it her really striking. Um, and unfortunately, we can't see it as brightly as when, maybe when it was painted originally. Um, but we have very similar um, kind of uh, braiding and ornamentation on the, the folds of our Our Lady's dress um, up here also, and um, the gold, um, sorry, the gold as well, and as well, she's crowned in a very similar way. Um, and so this is, um, yeah, very much uh, another reference to this apse. And when Pollen was there, he had said that he had actually written a letter and said the picture is brimful of ideas and he really wanted to represent the creation as restored. And we only really get hints of that in this large apse here, but creation very much is present in it. So we have a whole series of animals along these, what, what Pollen actually called mystic vines. So he calls this composition um, the scrolls of mystic vines and he, in between, somewhat nameless and faceless um, saints. He, he isn't referring to any particular saint, but uh, like a body of, of holy people, a body of holy saints. And then a whole series of birds, bees, lovely insects. There's a dragonfly here um, and different things like that. And then all along this lower rim also. Um, but at the point where it arcs um, <coughs> over the altar, we have a different sort of um, scroll here. What's actually here are, we have bundles of grapes um, and then some of the vines also have bits of wheat on them.